Welcome back to my channel, I'm Cassandra. Today I'm gonna to be comparing Matthew C. Primer to Matthew C. Alpha. So get ready to jump into some math curriculum. If you're new to Matthew C, go ahead and click the link that I have below of my review of the program. I've received actually some questions regarding these two levels. The questions were, what's the difference between the alpha and the primer level? You know, do I have to do the primer level or can my child just move right into alpha? And then the last question was, is what if my child did all of primer? Could I then skip over that alpha level and move right into the beta program? So we're going to start with question number one. All right, the first thing to understand is Matthew C is a mastery style program. The only level as part of Matthew C that is not mastery is primer. Primer is your introduction to math, and it's just to give the kids sort of a flavor of what type of math they're going to be expecting as they move through the different levels of Matthew C. With Alpha though, Alpha is mastery. They are going to learn all their single digit addition and subtraction facts. That when they have finished with the Alpha level, that you can sit down with a flashcard deck with both either addition or subtraction, and your child's gonna be able to pop off all of those answers and have them memorized. In that primer level, you're talking about early introduction to math, maybe learning some number recognition and counting, and then moving into some early addition and subtraction. But the whole base of all those single digit math facts are not taught or mastered as part of the primer program. You're just seeing some a little bit of introduction to those facts. The next thing that you see is that there is a lot more work when you go into the alpha level. In the primer level, each worksheet as part of the program has about five to eight problems. When you move into the alpha level, that does increase and you're going to see between about 15 and 20 problems per worksheet. The next thing is just the font size. If you look at the workbook for that primer level, the font for those problems are quite large. And then the images for the blocks, the child's actually able to overlay their block right onto the paper. And it's almost like fitting a puzzle piece. And the kid in the primer level is able to sort of fit that puzzle piece, see how the blocks fit and see how those math problems work together right on their worksheet. In that alpha level, the child is instead building those problems in the table in front of them, and then they're going to the worksheet and then they're filling out the problems. So that font does actually make a little bit of a difference and then also changes how many problems are per page. In the alpha level and all the levels up, there are testing because it's a mastery program. So you're going to see a test after each individual lesson as well as unit tests and final tests. There's actually no testing in the primer level. Again, that light introduction, fun introduction of these math concepts. The final is just the amount of material. You're gonna see in alpha so much more material that is covered, especially with those individual math facts versus in that primer level, you do spend a beginning part of the program just simply learning number recognition, how to write your numbers, how to count before you even move into place value. So it moves at a much slower pace. It's a fun program, definitely something great for your kindergarten level student versus what you see in alpha is more designed something for more like a first grader. All right, the answer is yes. You can skip the primer level. If you have a child who's a little bit older, maybe they're in first grade or they're in second grade and they haven't quite mastered their single digit addition and subtraction facts, you can start right into the alpha program. If you remember, the primer program is not a mastery program, so the topics that were taught in primer are just taught again through that alpha level. Obviously, one of the things is if you have a child that went through primer and jumping into alpha, there is gonna be some repetition with the material. As a parent, you can see that and realize, okay, we can move a little bit faster, maybe only one lesson worksheet, one systematic review, give the test and move on. Because when you go through the alpha program, you are going to hit topics that are a little bit more challenging that will require some more work for your kids. So move a little bit quicker through the things that they've already know, especially if they did primer, and then take your time and put the brakes on when you start moving into some new topics as part of the alpha program. But yes, you can definitely skip that primer program. It is only an introduction to math. The 
answer is no. You do not want to skip the alpha program if you're coming from primer. You do need to realize that primer is just that introduction to the program. They're not mastering all those math facts. You need to make sure you move from primer right into the alpha program that they're able to learn all those single digit addition and subtraction program problems before moving to beta and you don't want to miss out on that. When you move into beta, it jumps right into multiple digit addition and subtraction. And if they don't have that foundation for those single digit problems, they are going to struggle in the beta program. So don't miss out on alpha. Now, if you have an older child that maybe they have already done some addition and subtraction in school, you can go to the Math UC website. I do have the link below. There is a placement test that you can take to figure out where your child should be and what level. So go ahead and take that. But if you have a young child who's gone through primer, make sure you move into that alpha program and don't miss a step as part of the program. So if you had questions about the primer program and the alpha program, hopefully those answers help you out. If you have any other questions, go ahead and leave your comments below. I would love to be able to answer your questions. And before you leave, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.